The major research that we're doing focuses on the most pressing issues in child health. So for example, we're doing studies of childhood pneumonia, of childhood tuberculosis, of um, childhood HIV and adolescents with HIV infection, of childhood diarrhea. Um, a lot of these, uh, as you may know, are major causes of uh, illness and of death in children, particularly in sub-Saharan Africa. One has to be very careful to protect the child's rights. Children are particularly vulnerable, but at the same time, it is really essential that we do research in children, otherwise we will never see the benefit of many of the advances that are being made in health. How did you feel when the counselors were explaining to you about your grandchild being enrolled in the study? Oh, so, oh, I was so upset because, because yes, I did, because it, she was, he was very, very sick. And then I was praying to the God to help him, my grandson. Um, we recruit patients currently from four different sites where we have um, caseworkers essentially who then identify the patients, ask if they're interested and then make the referral here. The way in which we recruit children is if they um, have the illness which we're researching, say for example childhood pneumonia, we'll approach the mother, the caregiver, the legal caregiver and ask for permission for their child's enrollment in the study and if the child is old enough we will also ask for the child's assent. Fully explain the study, fully explain what we're doing and get informed consent in the language in which the parent or caregiver or child speaks. People often think research is um, about using somebody as a guinea pig and doing experiments which can lead to death. Often when they come to us or just one person in the ward um, spreads the story that we take the blood, we sell the blood. So that is a huge issue and then um, after they actually come onto the study and they see what we do after talking them through everything and removing all kinds of fears and they are so at ease and they can see that we are really there to make sure that this child is going to make be get better and to ensure that this child actually stays better. It's not that research is done by bad people for bad reasons. It's that bad research is done by good people for seemingly good reasons. And I think this is why we need very strong uh, ethics um, guidelines in place, why informed consent is so important and why we need to be seen, to, we need to protect the rights of the child and the child's interests must be paramount in any research that we do. It is incumbent on us to actually do sound, good, ethical, clinical research in children because otherwise we're doing child health a disservice. Currently we're running uh, some big research projects in association with the Children's Hospital in Cape Town, the Red Cross Children's Hospital. And this is to do with identifying uh, mediastinal and chest lymph glands, which basically are the fingerprint of TB. And we're trying to use some novel ways uh, that can be used in clinic or at the bedside, which is unlike the usual way we image children in a radiology department using big machinery. It's very important to give the good information, the right information, the advantages of being in the study, you know, because I mean like um, once you explain the advantages of being in the study to them, then they start to understand, oh okay, sure, and then you explain that most of the tests that the study people they will do, it's not mostly that you will get maybe in the government hospitals or in the private doctor even that you paid, but with this in the study, you know, in the research team, you will get all those kind of um, tests done for you free. In childhood TB, we've been able to develop effective new methods for diagnosing TB. We've also been able to develop new methods for preventing TB. So for example, in HIV infected children, we've done a study that showed if you uh, treat HIV infected children with low dose um, antimicrobial called isoniacid, that's a drug that is commonly used to treat TB, but if you 
use it to, as a preventative strategy in HIV infected children. In fact, you markedly reduce their risk of getting TB in an area such as ours where there's a very high risk of getting TB. We've been working on um, developing a low cost space cell for children with asthma. The best treatment for children with asthma is to give them inhaled therapy with an asthma pump. But children can't use an asthma pump on its own because they have to synchronise breathing in deeply, pressing the pump and holding their breath. And obviously for young children that's really impossible to do. So we developed a low cost um, spacer which is made by modifying a 500ml plastic cold drink bottle. We adapted this for use and we've done many studies of this device now comparing it to commercially available spaces and found it to be as good and as a result children from the most impoverished circumstances can now use asthma pumps if they use this um, 500 ml plastic adapted bottle as well and this has been included in World Health Organization guidelines and the Global Initiative for Asthma guidelines. So this is an example of how we've been able to do research in this facility using the very sophisticated resources that we have here to improve child health broadly. We really need to be setting and advancing the research agenda in Africa if we are to improve child health for our children. Doing this kind of research that addresses the most pressing issues, pneumonia, TB, HIV, is essential because we have to develop better methods to prevent these illnesses and to treat them when children get them. And this is what the New Clinical Research Centre is all about. It's about doing this kind of research and it's also about research capacity development, developing the next generation of African clinician scientists who are able to design these studies, to do these studies and to advance the field so that we can be on track to achieve the Millennium Development Goal number four, which is a two-thirds reduction in under five mortality, and so that we can be on track to really advance health for children in Africa and globally. What research is being conducted here that you're affiliated with? I mentioned CTEC and what it is, is it takes, uh, it's looking at a cohort of um, adolescents between 9 and 14 years at, at the time of recruitment and follows them over a three to four year period. They all have HIV and were perinatally infected and it looks at various markers from psychosocial and neurologic to cardiac to GI to so many different aspects of it. Do they make you feel nervous or are you okay here? Very okay. I can't complain. And you're happy with all the treatments? All eh? the treatments. I'm very, very happy. To all staff members of SH, I would like to thank you all. I have been here for quite a long and I learned a lot here. You are the wonderful people who always put yourself in other person's shoes. I like to say goodbye to you. You are my part of family. Here is my poem. People will forget what you say. People will forget what you did. But people will never forget how you made them feel. Thank you all. Thank mm -hmm. you.